I'm Sergeant Lefty. I'm with the Milwaukee Police Department. I do not have a badge number because unfortunately they never gave me one. Okay. I've just been on that long. So apparently there was an issue with this yesterday where people were gathering outside of here. Sure. And I was at in service yesterday. I talked to the supervisor that was on. If you guys want to come closer so you can videotape me better, that way it, that it works out. If I mess anything up, we can start over and we'll do it again. So I talked to the sergeant that was here yesterday. He said they had the kind of the same thing where a group of people were outside, kind of yeah. doing the same thing. Yeah. They had signs and whatnot. Yeah. So he explained to me, because he's a day shift sergeant and I'm an early power sergeant, that they came here and basically told them that they couldn't do it because of Governor Evers order. Mm -hmm. So I'm asking you guys to follow the order from the governor saying that you guys can't. I just don't see it in the order and sure. we're, we're one family gathering. Sure. Right. So that's like Okay. Well there's a couple of things that I can read off in here because this is his order, right? Governor yeah. Evers, right? Safer at home. Mm -hmm. Right? And then this is actually from the state of Wisconsin yeah, Department of Health and Services. Uh -huh. Right. So, where do you guys live? Where do we live? We live in Franklin. Wisconsin. Okay. So right here, number five, it says prohibited and permitted travel. All forms of travel are prohibited except for essential travel as defined in this order. Okay. So what that means, you guys drove from Franklin to here. Sure. Right. That is prohibited. What about because in section like number three? Just number oh, three. Show you the number sure. Three where Absolutely. It says the prohibitive activities. Mm -hmm. If you read the first. Sure, I'll read it all out. Here, okay. You guys got this? You guys got it? All public and private gatherings of any number of people that are not a part of a single household or living unit are prohibited. So all of you guys live together. Yeah, these are all my children. Okay. Now if. Do you have documentation on that so I can prove that it's correct or no? Um, what kind of documentation do you want? Well, me no, to I'm saying like, no, like, well, <laughs> yes, I could provide right, right, birth, birth certificates, certificates exactly. Yeah, so of birth. I could, I could go Absolutely. that route, right? So, except for limited persons, ex expressly permitted in yes. this order, nothing on this order prohibits the gathering of members of a single household or living that's unit. What, that's what I'm looking at. Right. Nothing in this order prohibits the gathering okay. of members of a single household or a unit. So far nothing so good. However, you did travel here from Franklin. But it says nothing in this order prohibits the gathering. Did you travel here from Franklin? Yes, we did. Okay, so that's prohibited, But it correct? doesn't say where our gathering is. It's is it prohibited to... that you travel here from Franklin? <laughs> it's... Yes. Yes. Correct? But where, yes. where could your gathering be? Okay. That's what I was just wondering. Because it's not specific of saying where your gathering is. Well, it says, let's see, religious entities, religious facilities, you can't gather 10 or more. How many people are here? They're all the same, we're all the same okay. household, so that doesn't so matter. Far, so far, so good. And then if we, it says you can travel to a state, you can even go to a state park to ah. exercise. So, wouldn't that be... Right, this isn't a state park, though. Are you though. exercising here at the but, state no, park? No, but I'm just saying, wouldn't that be under... Okay, here we go, Esse essential travel, number 15. Individuals engaged in any essential travel must comply with the social distancing requirements to the extent possible. For the purpose of this order, essential travel includes any travel related to the provision or access to essential activities, special situations, essential government functions, essential business and operations, or minimum basic operations, travel to care for elderly, minors, dependents or persons with disabilities or other vulnerable persons travel to or from educational institutions for purpose of receiving materials for distance learning or receiving meals or any other related services travel to return to a place of residence from outside the jurisdiction travel required by law enforcement or court order including transportation transport children pursuant to a child custody agreement 
travel required for non-residents to a return of their place residence outside of Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. this does not constitute essential travel. Well, it could be an essential activity. It's not an essential activity. Standing outside of an abortion well, center is... it's essential is... for the babies that are being murdered. Okay. So I'm going to ask you guys that you follow the order and just go home. What happens if we don't, sir? Well, there's a lot of things that could happen. Well, like what? Well, you could be arrested because are you the mom? Yes, I am. Okay. So you could be arrested for taking your children when it says prohibited. Stay home. That's what basically this... But you can... You can... What would you like me to do? Do you want me just to walk away and let you guys be here? Or do you want me to follow what the governor says and, and enforce certain things that need to be enforced? Oh, no, we'll leave. I just didn't okay. see it. It's, I right. don't, it was very subjective. Right. Just no, and that's the thing. Right. I, I totally get it. But it's one of those things where it's like if you guys want to go and work out at a park, you guys can. Yeah. That's what they're saying. They're just saying like, you know, like runners that are running past. Can they do that? Absolutely, they can. Sure. But when it's like, you know, standing here, walking back and forth, it's like, you guys drove from Franklin to do that here. That doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I contacted the city attorney on my way over here yeah. and asked them what what I can do. Sure. I wanted to make sure that I was doing it right sure. because I don't want to violate anybody's First Amendment rights. Sure. And they said... They can be, they can have their signs. They said, unfortunately, because of the order that was placed by the yeah. governor, right now, it's one of those things that they would prefer people don't do it. Yeah. Like if it was a normal day and we weren't under this COVID-19 yeah. thing, nothing that I could do about it. Yeah, you guys want to be out here? Yeah. Be out here. Be out here all day. Bring chairs. Yeah. yeah. Be cool. Don't bother anybody. Don't block the sidewalk. You know, as long as you're not threatening people, totally fine yeah you know but that's kind of one of those things okay. that until this order because like right here ready you guys getting this mm -hmm. you want to yeah. zoom in we have it we you already have it? have it yeah okay right here effective 8 a.m on wednesday the yeah. 25th this order will remain in effect until 8 a.m on friday april 24th mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so or until superseding order is yeah. issued yeah so it's just one of those things that it's kind of like he's just asking like hey Right now, with this whole thing going on, yeah. let's not do anything. My daughter's birthday is on Saturday. Guess what? We're sitting in the house, you know, yeah. and it sucks. Yeah. And I don't like it, and you guys don't like it, and I don't want you guys to not be able to do what you're, you know, this is what you guys can do. You can totally do it. It's your First Amendment right. He's just saying yeah. kind of like right now, let's everybody just chill out and not make any unnecessary things. Go to the grocery store. Come home. They got to go to the hospital. They got to go to the doctor. Yeah. Take them. Mm -hmm. Go home. You want to go work out? Go. Yeah. Come home. Yeah. So. Cool? All right. Well, we'll see. Yeah. I'll I mean. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Like I said, if, if it was up to me and it wasn't this stuff going yeah. on, I'd be like, hey, they're cool. Like, I would go in there and tell them, hey, they're not doing anything wrong. Yeah. You know? They're just saying that because of this. So we're breaking the you can't be. Yeah, it's basically it's the safer at home, you know, safe at home order. I printed I printed both of these out. Yeah. You know, and. So what it. exactly? Which one are we violating? Just being here. Well, at right. This place? So yeah, just tra right. traveling. Just out the traveling. Away from your right. Residence type. Right. So traveling out. So does that right. mean if we go out to a park, it has to be in my. Just no, you can area. travel. You can travel to a park. You know that's fine. Okay. But they're saying like this isn't a park. This isn't a, yeah. park. This isn't a place of like this isn't a this place isn't of exercise. A, like, and it's not a open. store. You know yeah. because when sure. you go and say yeah I oh, drove from funny. Franklin to this place to walk in front of this building yeah. they're gonna be like you did that exercise you know like you know what I'm saying they're gonna look at it and go you're kind of you're kind of reaching sure. You know? Sure. And I'm not a lawyer. Sure. I wish I wish I was smart enough to go to college and get a law, law degree, mm -hmm. but I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I apologize. You know, I'm sure you guys are very smart and intelligent, and I thank you for everything that you guys do because everybody has the the right of freedom of speech. 
you know? Yeah. And I don't hold anything against anybody. Yeah. Everybody has their own beliefs. Yeah. And like I said, I've been a part of like the Mert team for years and that's kind of what we do. Hey, yeah. you guys can stand out there and do stuff as long as you're not bad. As long as you're not saying bad stuff. Yeah. That's cool. So this They're supersedes, just saying, right. this supersedes the, your constitutional well, it doesn't right? Well, con it doesn't supersede the constitutional right. They're just asking like, hey, during this time, can we just exemption. hold off on doing for it for right time. now? So what do you mean an exemption? It's like a, so you, an exemption to the constitution for that, for those time periods. Meaning, like that, that the the right to, for freedom of speech or to assembly together is you can't do that now because this is an emergency. Correct. Right, because they're basically saying, "Hey, please stay." Home. They're saying they're basically going, "Please stay home. Mm -hmm. Don't go out unless you have to." You know, uh, I'd love to stay home. I have to go to work. You know, there's a lot of people that want to go to work, but they can't because mm -hmm. they closed everything. Mm -hmm. You know, and for me. You know, to come to work, I'd like a I'd like a cup of coffee. I'd like to have lunch. Yeah. A lot of the places they're closed, and it's like, you know, I have to make sure now when I go out to the grocery store, I'm getting stuff for lunch because nothing's open. Yeah. You know. So. Alrighty. What's your name? Danielle. Danielle, it's very okay. nice, nice to meet you. you. All right. Again, my name is Sergeant Lemke. Okay. I don't have a badge number, but I work at District Two on Early Power. Okay. So. Sounds great. You guys need anything? Nope, we're good. You're good. Yep, we're heading out. All right. You guys are the best. Thank you for thank you. everything. I really appreciate it. Okay. You. Have a great day. Honestly, thank you guys.